Hello Scorpio! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Star Tarot by Kathy McLeland. Uh, there is the website for Kathy's... Oh, Kathy's website, Kathy McLeland. I assume... I haven't been on there that I recall. I'm assuming all her stuff is on there. It makes me want to go check it out now. <laughs> uh, supportive Oracle Cards. Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards by Tori Hartman, illustrated by Gretchen Raish Baskin. Websites for them, ToriHartman.com or WatkinsPublishing.com or WatkinsPublishing.co.uk. Uh, the .com is down here somewhere. The .co.uk is in that black little strip. So if you want that information, go ahead, freeze frame, and search out what you would like to search out. I assume it just based on where you are located, what link works better for you. So... Okay. Uh, this is Scorpio. Somebody has an issue. Is that going to be a problem, though? Acceptance is at the bottom, but, like, who needs to accept what? Like, who needs to accept... Um, somebody's being too rigid that's not usually a no it's not you though that's why <laughs> I was like that doesn't sound right for Scorpio usually you guys are flowing flow pretty well like you have your standards but you can you can get here to there a lot of different ways and you seem to cope with things and adjust as as necessary <clears throat> no the where is that coming from hmm Am I saying something wrong? Sometimes you move quicker and faster by not explaining by not explaining yourself. Oh. Is that where this is starting? Sometimes you just fix something by not explaining it, but just doing it. I know Scorpio's like that. It's like, I don't need to tell you what I'm doing. I just gotta make it work. And I'll do that. Oh. Is there a communication problem here? There's a communication problem, is what I'm thinking. Somebody else doesn't understand what you're doing. They don't get it. You just have to fix what you have to fix. You you make something go right, you just move quickly. You're like, oh, oh, that's not right, and you just you just fix it. Like you're like, oh, nope, nope, and you just go and you just do it. Boom, boom. You're just taking care of it. Um, Scorpio is very active and very fast. At least in my opinion, Scorpio is. Um, when you need to handle something, and you're like, that's not right, you just go and do it. Just, you just do it. That's, that, that's just what it is. You don't sit there and go, well, mm, looks like that's going to fall off the table. I probably could get it, but and as it rolls, and you're like, oh, I guess it broke. That's not Scorpio. Scorpio's like, whoops, and you're just kind of like, you see it rolling, and you just you move, you grab it, you put it where it's supposed to go. That's that. Um, to you, this situation was like that. I just needed to handle it, so I did. You stabilized something. Four of Pentacles, that's not working. I saw a problem, I just fixed it. That's all. There just is no... See, you fixed it. It it worked better, but then the release came in right after it. You think that wouldn't be a bad thing. <laughs> you think that wouldn't be a bad thing, but I'm getting kind of like, you're like, well, obviously it works better, so that's how I'm going to do it from now on. Done. What's to discuss? Um, yeah, but somebody else is bent right out of shape. Somebody else is bent right out of shape. The thing is, you're not seeing this come forward. I don't think you are. You're just kind of like, though. that was obviously the better way to do it, so I just did it that way, so what? To you, it's like a no-brainer. It's just kind of like, you know, that's just what you needed to do. You've got this Knight of Cups and the Two of Cups. You're expecting the other people or other person you're dealing with, either it's either one person or it could be a few, just to be fair. Kind of like that's obviously the better move, so why would anybody be upset? Why, why would anybody be upset? Like, why? You wanted me just to sit there and let that fall? And not for nothing, since I realized that the table wasn't even and I fixed it? Why would that be bad? Like, we don't want to have a potential another item roll off the table, do we? So, to you, it's like, why would that be a problem? Why would that be a problem? 
it's a problem. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going on around you, but people don't see it the way you see it. It's almost like the table was uneven, so you fixed it. But however you fixed it, you took somebody else's resources, or they thought you did. Um, or maybe they were going to move that table. It's kind of like either they were going to move the table, or the way you fixed it, whatever you used for it, they were going to use for something else. It's one of the two. That's the best I, way I could come out about this. Is like whatever you did, they wanted to use that for something else. Or the whole situation, they were going to evolve a different way. But when you fixed it, that shut the door on that. And there, you like, you stop them. This is the Seven of Wands, which talks about overcoming negativity. That's like a base meaning of this card usually. At least that's how I see it, just to be fair. Um, they had their own plans to fix the situation, but they didn't move fast enough. You went right around them and just kind of like, this isn't working, so and you just fixed it. So their plans just, they took a crap. Sorry, but they did. They took too long. And they weren't explaining anything either. I don't know why I'm mad about that. <laughs> I'm like, they weren't explaining anything either. So not for nothing. They took too long. If they were explaining something, it didn't look like they were going to actually do it. It's something like that. So either they weren't telling you or they're telling you you're not seeing anything happen. And you're like, listen, I'm just going to fix it because I'm sick of waiting. So you just did it. Because I feel like it took too long. They were making long-term decisions. The Two of Pentacles is like making a long-term decision. Planning it out. Making sure it's going to work. And like weighing the pros and cons. With the, with the High Priestess, it's kind of like, is that going to work? Well, that won't work perfectly, but maybe that'll work better than this. Really taking a lot of time to really sort out what works best for the situation. But they took too long. And the communication wasn't working for you either. It's kind of like, listen, I'm not going to let half the stuff fall off the table before you finally do something. Wow, I'm not happy with them. <laughs> I'm feeling that energy naturally come through, though. Kind of like, you weren't doing anything, so why are you getting mad at me for actually doing something? And they're like, well, I was doing something. I was, you know, thinking it through. I was I was doing the whole paralysis by analysis thing. Don't you know that? It's valid. It's valid. <laughs> um, it's not valid. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> if, you, if you're not doing anything and you're just overthinking it, that's not good. Like, you need to do something. Um, you fixed it you made the decision for them and now it's a non-issue um, they're uncomfortable with it that mysticism with the these two cards are not really a match which is very interesting that they came out together because the King of Pentacles is kind of like, this is what it is, that's why it's there. It's not only this is how it goes, but that's why it's there. I know why it's there. I know how it works, why it works, what to do. I have, you know, I know from from soup to nuts, I think, I think is how the saying goes, everything that went into every dish, why it's there, what this goes to there, they can make it all happen on their own. They know how the whole plan works. But with the mysticism there, it's kind of like, it's stabilized, it's corrected, it's fixed, but they don't know why this is there. They don't understand how this happened. They're like, they don't understand the ins and outs of the whole situation, which causes a bigger problem. The King of Pentacles kind of demands to know all the ins and outs. They, that's an energy that understands the situation through and through. And that's why it's stable because they understand it. They understand it and they believe in it. Um, I do get a lot of earth references here. So it seems like you're going, you're matching up with an earth energy in some sense. They don't have to be an earth sign, but they have some type of way about them where they plan and they, they do a lot of planning stuff. It's, I don't have a lot of earth in my chart, but I do have a lot of earth tendencies, if that makes any sense. So like once in a while, I do come up as an earth card, but I don't have very much earth in my chart. So <laughs> just saying. Um, There has to be some communication here. I just feel like they're not easy to deal with. you got to deal with... What you're coming up against is complacency and insecurity. Because somebody else was just taking too long. They got the Hierophant here. They're having a hard time letting it go. I do feel like you're giving it fair 
explanation. I just kind of, when I'm feeling your energy, it's kind of like, well, yeah, okay. I feel like that's, excuse me, I feel like, I, all right, you, under, you don't understand what I did and why, so I'll explain it to you. All right. The purpose you'd be doing that is be, to, like, to help the water go under the bridge. It's kind of like, oh, look, a pool of water. Let's let's release that and let it go under the bridge so we can move on with our lives. Since there's a pool of water, like backed up emotions, let's process that, let's let it go under the bridge so we can move on from it. So you're like, you're willing to talk about it. And it doesn't mean this person's an earth sign, but like every sign has its ups and downs, okay? Um, I feel like there's the repetitive over and over they keep going back to the same thing. I'm seeing somebody from my past um, that would use the term moving forward, yes, but moving forward, yes, but moving forward, which basically meant they didn't want to take accountability for something. Anytime somebody uses that term, I understand that happened, but moving forward, when they say but moving forward, it's kind of like, oh, you don't want to be accountable for things you did that weren't right because we need to work out why that happened and that that's not going to happen again. But you want to just, let's just move on from it like it didn't happen. So they don't, they, when I hear somebody say that, I'm like, oh, you don't want to be accountable. Okay. That's how I take it, only because I had a bad experience with that years ago with somebody who was very problematic, just to be fair. So maybe, I know I'm going to hear comments in the bottom kind of like saying, oh, well, there's times. Well, I don't know. You sh if you can't really talk to it, that's, I feel like that's when people use that term, moving forward. Like they don't want to address it. They don't want to deal with it. So they keep using that, what, moving forward kind of like I want to just discount it I want to move on like it didn't happen or I don't want to address it it's not good but because I keep getting this replay 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 thing going on here um, oh you might be using that don't use that because that's how I take it when I hear it that's what I hear maybe you need to know that that's how somebody might be hearing that if you keep moving forward and not explaining everything to their satisfaction that's how they're taking it. Doesn't mean that's what it was. And then when I connect to your energy, it's kind of like, because I'm frustrated and I'm sick of explaining it, so I'm trying to move on from this. <laughs> okay, so I get your point. I just got the other side of that. So, all right, well, there you go. Well, I guess I just see crow on that one, won't I? Um, okay. I would just... If you want to move on from this energy, what I'm because I'm like I'm trying to like well all right well what do we do with it then? It's probably going to be a series of talks. Don't make it one big talk. So if you have time to like spend an hour and a half with this person, don't do it. Kind of like tell them, hey, I got fifteen to twenty minutes. I'll I'll catch you there. I'll, I'll and I'll catch up with what I did, and then just kind of like have that fifteen to twenty minute conversation of like okay, we can talk more about this later. I'm sorry, I gotta go, but we'll schedule something. So you give them some time to process what you said and then do another 15 to minute, fifteen to 20 minute conversation and just whatever you can get through in that amount, go, okay, here we go. Well, that's as far as I can go. And then go kind of like, I got to go now. Let them process that again. It, it might take four to five times and I realize that's obnoxious and I apologize. I don't know because I feel like I've been, I've been that person like, well, if you can't tell me why you did that, then you're trying to hide something. I just... I've been there. I've been that. Per I've been that person. <laughs> I have been that person. Although the person I was dealing with, they they were not good, and I was not the only person that felt that way. So if I was the only person that felt that way, that'd be one thing. But um, I don't know what happened to them. I think they got fired. Actually, that's a whole other story. But your situation, you have the ability to explain it because you know why you did what you did. But just do little pieces. Just do. And keep coming back to it. It might take four to five times. As a person who's done that to somebody, I can... I'll, I'll, sorry, but <laughs> sometimes that's, that's what it takes. If you're able to do that, that's when the situation will truly move on. I do feel like this person will, will come forward, and I feel like once they realize that they... Once they get past the confusion, they'll, they discover what's really going on then they'll have the gratitude. It is possible with this. It just takes a long time to get there. I'm, I'm relating to this more because this person's like the king of pentacles. Until they understand what's going on and why, they have a hard time being comfortable with it. That's just how that, this is how this person I feel you connecting with works. 
And I also feel like you like this person for the most part. So you got the two of cups. Um, <laughs> so if it's obnoxious, I don't mean it to be obnoxious. I feel like I feel guilty. I feel like I've been that person. <laughs> I feel real guilty about that. Um, so I hope that helps. Because I feel like this is all about what it takes to make this work and a better way for you to work with this energy to bring about peace and understanding to where this literally can move on. Because I feel like, especially with Scorpio, you're like, I did it, I'm done, let me move on. I feel like we don't want this to be like a problem that comes back later on. We really want to clear it out and really solve it. And like those, the short conversations and walking away and short conversations and walking away, not like maliciously, but just kind of like, sorry, I got things I got to do. I'll come back. We could talk again. We'll, we'll set something up. I'll talk with you again, but keep it between 15 to 20 minutes. Don't like, don't make it any longer because you'll, you won't get frustrated, hopefully. And they'll get a moment to really like soak in because they need a moment to soak in and kind of go like, okay, this is what Scorpio said. That's. All right, actually, I understand that. So, you know, that does actually add in. But now that I know that that adds in, how did that get over there? Because they'll get more questions once they soak it in. Like, okay, well, this part makes sense, but now how did that? So then you get the next section, the next 15 to 20 minutes. They ask questions about that. And then you have to, like, end that. They're like, all right, now that, you know, until they get all the pieces together, like, okay, now it makes sense to me. Now I get it. Because I feel like once they discover that what you did was good, it will remove the confusion, and I feel like they'll be very happy and grateful. They're like, oh, you know what? You know what, Scorpio? That was the best decision. You know, I like that. I like how you did that. That actually works out great. Okay, cool. I think they'll be fine. I feel like this is just about a situation where you want to keep getting along with this person, and this might be a way to do that. All right. I'm going to let it go there. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.